Good morning, people. Uh, I'm off to Baxendon now. Uh, it's, it's a fair road drive like that, but still, we're like a fair It's near Accrington Stanley. Accrington Stanley, who are they? Exactly. Can you remember what that was off? It's off an advert. If you remember that advert, you're showing your age, I'm afraid. <laughs> uh, yeah, going to Baxendon. Oh, hi. I've got a shout out to give an all to Baz. Uh, he's on YouTube, Welder Faber on YouTube. He gave me a shout out on his uh, on his last video. Uh, he uh, he was using Makita and he and he uh, and he gave me a little heads up like professional struggler on the safe because he's using Makita. But then I noticed, Baz, later on in the video, you was taking you was tightening you got your, your, your lad to tighten that that grate up and he started impacting it and he says, whoa whoa whoa, whoa what are you using there? And he said uh, the, the the Makita and he says and then Baz says. Will, will that be powerful enough? <laughs> Wait, try to say that about me, about me, Makita's. Hey, eh? are you saying that they're not as powerful as these posh Milwaukee's? Makita still, no, no fucking sponsor here. Yeah, we're waiting. Me and Leah Dog wake up every morning, and check the post. Leah Dog, anything in the post today about Makita? No, nothing, nothing. Lear dogs riding shotgun today. So we'll go and take the two hour or two and one half hour, depending on the traffic, journey there, won't we? So catch up with you when we're at Baxendon, people. <laughs> See you later. Atkinson Stanley, who are they? Exactly. Past the point of no return, baby, on the summer night. Shot of love and a spark of love to be Starts to light and the month I'm not burned like the ground I leave I will leave it on the next train, baby, I do believe you Need a bigger yard, boys, don't they? Uh, yeah, the sat-nav took me on a detour there, you know, because of the traffic and that But I tell you what, it's a lovely part of the country, this, isn't it? You know the scenery and that, it's beautiful, it is Our dad always said and all, uh, nice people up north and all uh, the, the higher you get up, the nicer the people he says once he was uh, he was uh, in, in London tr uh, catching the train. He didn't know which one to, to catch, and he's asking like loads of people, and they're all just ignoring him. And so he shouted out, "Is anyone is, is anyone here from up north?" And then this the dad said, "Yeah, I am, mate. Yeah, well, yeah, well, what's up?" And they told him like and explained to him how to like what train to go on. Our dad, our, like, our dad obviously, he's seventy three now. He's drove all his life. Uh, he's been up and down the country all his life, still driving now, and he's always said, lovely people from up north. He's always said it. I know, I'll have to go with our old man for a day, won't I? Because he's still driving, he's 73. You imagine, he's been on the road uh, for nearly 60 years, he's been driving for up and down this country. Isn't it? I bet he, he's, he's got no end of stories to tell, our old man, obviously. I've heard most of his stories, but he still comes out with new ones. You've never heard them all. Right, let's go and see these boys. I need the toilet. Leah Dog, what did you think to see me? He liked it. He was running up and down hills like in his sleep, obviously. Three done. How you doing, three done? You all right? Here's the James lot. Been here an hour. Hour? No, I I've only just got here. Just letting Lear Dog out. Been, it's been so busy all the way up here. The James lot. Back to the car breakers again, boys and girls. Plenty more jobs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You put an air dry filter on that didn't you but yeah, it still didn't work still not doing it but you have got a donor lorry somewhere you said don't you yes I'm but sorry. i've been thinking yeah and i don't often oh, do don't this, be thinking the clutch pedal you know because is it air it'll be on air yeah air assisted it? yeah well, so it'll, it'll have no that clutch. was actually getting like over the last week before it went it was stiff was it so i'm thinking could it be does it run through the clutch? Yeah, well, everything summer? everything runs off air, but obviously, off that. Whatever it is... Well, we need to build that air up first. It, yeah. you but right? if you've got an air dryer, have you? Yeah, I've got one on that one out there. And I've looked at it. Oh, there. Oh, that one there. I'll do that, won't it? I'll swap that around. Because yeah. that had a load of shit in it, didn't it? So that's yeah. a good place to start. We know it's getting air pressure into it, because I tight pipe off, and there's air yeah. pressure coming out there. But I didn't fully take it off. So I'll take that one off fully and just try and bung it, just make sure there is compressible. Yeah, see what you think. Yeah, so the brakes aren't on it now. Right, well, oh, you wind them off again. Yeah, I've wound them off. You don't want to get it under it and then re roll anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have to bimby you up now. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. And the paint is bad. What would you do with Lane Dog? Go Guard Dog. Yeah, Guard Dog, yeah. Guard Dog. I paint him black yeah, and brown and rock my life. You're going to buy it. 
It depends what mood he's in. That's like, that's like the lake. Uh, like a massive lake, isn't it? Through it is. Through it is. Oh, uh, you see, good leader. He always shakes his chihuahua and James was just saying how he started this business, him and his brother. Obviously, you two started it, didn't you? Just with nothing, didn't you? Breaking yeah. uh, classic, cars. classic cars. Yeah. And then he rented a bigger yard, which is this one. And then him and his brother just started doing it on their own, obviously breaking cars mm -hmm. and selling the bits. One thing led to another, James. A yeah. lot of hard work, time and effort. Time. And that's where you've got to wait on that. Dedication and consistency, yeah. yeah. But when we when we first came here, we didn't really know what we were doing. No, you we were just, just breaking, breaking yeah. classic cars. Like Morris Miners. Well, we used to do a lot of classic cars. Yeah, because right? that's what you used to specialise in, yeah. classic cars. But yeah. now, obviously, you've got onto everything. And we've just you? turned into a full-blown vehicle recyclers, yeah. yeah. But you've done well, though. That's what I say. Yeah. You and your brother, you've done well. It's family-run firm, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, nice one, yeah. Right? You made a good place for it, aren't you? Yeah, we're getting there. There's still a, still a lot to do. Yeah, but there's but always that. That's what businesses ending. do, isn't it? Never you, ending. You, you, you never just go from nothing to everything, do you? No. You've got to like, climb up the ladder, no. like, ain't you, yeah. such? That's it. Well, fair play to you. A lot of hard work pays off, you see, doesn't it? Yeah. Hey? Next thing is getting that daft done and picking up more cars. <laughs> <laughs> Pressure's on then, people. Yeah, yeah, I'd better get it. this daft on so he can pick up even more cars. Yeah. I just hope that airplay is the right one. Yeah, I'd be right. It'd be right, won't it? Pick up more cars because then he can get the yard even fuller of cars. Yeah, that's the just one. Just so yeah. we can't move more at all. Cars the machine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for that eating machine. Yeah. It needs feeding. The machine needs feeding. Oh, it's chucked it already, look. I've got my wheel chucked there. Oh, it's got double chucks, look. Double the safety. Right then, I'll uh, whip this main pipe off first, that's what I'm going to do, whip that off and strike up the engine and just make sure, put the pipe off with, with my thumb, make sure it has got back pressure there, coming from the compressor. That's the job, let's do it. Right, that pipe's off, I'm just going to strike it up now. That's a lot of water. Is it going in through the compressor? Well, I don't feel how much pressure is there. Oh, cool. Oh. You should be able to bump that up, though, with your thumb. You should be blasting your thumb off that, should. Yeah, I think the uh, air compressor's through, board. I'm going to jack the cab up. Uh, take the outlet off the compressor outlet pipe and do the same with the outlet pipe, start off and if it's still got no pressure, compress the spoon board. I think that's where all this wet's coming from and all, the compressor. So it shouldn't be chucking moisture through like that. Put that off there, look. That's the compressor, that's what builds up the air pressure. Looks a bit manky, doesn't it? It's got a bit of a water leak coming from here, look. From that clip with the looks of it. Or is it that hose? It could be that hose, look. Oh, this fucking thing, isn't it? Oh, this look. Wow, pissed me, look. Huh? That compressor don't look like good anyway, does it? Where is the compressor? Is that the compressor? Oh, it's still bumping off now, look. And you shouldn't be able to now. And so you just don't know that. Oh, thank you, bud. And that should blow you on now. Yeah. Compressor out. Right, this is his donor one. So it should, he said this this lorry was all right, so it should be all right, the compressor should. But I'm just going to take the, because uh, at the back of the compressor, the power steering pump's attached to it. So I'm just going to take it all off and swap it all for that. And then just see how we go from there, innit? It looks in better, Nick, anyway, doesn't it? Looks in a lot better, Nick. We'll have you. We'll take you, we will. Hmm. Thank you. It's nice having these donor vehicles, isn't it? You just swap stuff, can't you? It don't cost out, does it? Don't matter if it's not that, it don't matter, does it? Change something else on it. Keep going, just change the whole engine on it and gearbox and everything. In fact, just take that body off that one, put it on this one. Job done. Simple. <laughs> I'm going to take that water pipe off as well, because on that other... Oh, oh dear, I'm not. Oh, oh dear. I was just about to say on that other one it's leaking, but that one would be leaking as well, wouldn't it? Which is a shame. Unless it takes, it's leaking out of this bit, unless I take this bit off and then sweat that part back onto it. That might be an option. Hmm. Ah, 
I know what you're thinking, people. Chris, could you get a bigger tool on the job? And the answer is, yes, I could. <laughs> but I thought I'd just use this small tool instead. Oh, this one's got um, that bracket down there. It's got two 10 mils to hold it to the to the block. That other one hasn't. Uh, uh, fucking shit to get at. Down there, look, there's a bracket down there. There. And you need to bracket off or else it won't slide out. Mmm. Arse of a job. I'm going to take that one off here because it's easier to get to. I've took the 10 mil out there, like that way, and the bracket's still on because the two 10 mils on the actual chassis or uh, on the block are a nightmare to get to. So I'm hoping, just I've took that bolt out there, that, that nut off there, and then bottom nut off. I'm hoping to get my big bar now and just lever it out and I'll bend that bracket. That's what I'm hoping, anyway. Uh, oh, I've got mucky hands. I don't want to stroke your lid. I should be black. I think I'm going to have to take that bracket off, ain't I? Bloody hell. Oh, I might be able to get it through it, in fact. <gasps> I might be okay, people. Huh. I can. I can fit it through there, look. Oh. Bloody good. I've just had to lend a 3 8 wobbly off James because I can't seem to find mine. Because it's in a bit of an awkward position, this is. So I need a bit of a wobbler on it. There we go. Easy when you've got the right tools for the job, isn't it? A lot easier. Look everyone, it's Chris, the Baylor Chris expert. The <laughs> there. Huh. Now it should easily come out. I've got to have this ECU off now. I've got to have that off, look, because it's hitting it there. And it's not fully out on the cog. There. Just popped out then, did it? Hey, eh? At least it's got good compression anyway. Right, easy, job out. Right, this other one should be easier because it hasn't got that bracket and that there. Yeah, that looks too bad anyway, though, so I'm going to take that one off there again. This is a bit more accessible. I might even have enough space there. Oh, I don't know. I'll just put that off if not, anyway. Well, this hasn't got the bracket down there, that annoying bracket. that one i've just noticed look at this lot look at the oil it's like cream just took this off look Ooh, that might be getting a bit of water in there i'm thinking off something oil cooler possibly engine possibly let's take that dipstick out possibly and check the end of the dipstick probably it's got condensation everywhere in this Needs oil changing all, doesn't it? I can't, you can't really tell, can you? Don't know. It's got to drop the oil in it, hasn't it? Because that engine oil looks absolutely horrible. Yes, it needs an oil change, that. Before we do anything with it, really. Well, we'll put this compressor on and try it, obviously. And if it works, it needs an oil change and an oil filter. Because then you're starting from fresh and then you can check, see if it is going milky. Or you don't know whether it's been contaminated with something. You don't know whether someone's topped it up in the wrong place. You don't know, do you? You never know, do you? You can't assume anything in this life. Just looking at cleaning up this lot, it looks like there's, it's all wet, this, this this one is. And it looks like it's been leaking past that. That's, that's the oil feed. Uh, it looks like it's been leaking past that O-ring. So I'm hoping I've got one in this little set. It was a bit big, but I've had to cram it in, but it's better than that old one. Uh, I'm just going to put a bit of silicon around it as well, just to help it on its little mission of sealing. Bit of advice as well. You know when you lift it up there, before you slot it in, just make sure that that O-ring, that green O-ring is still on. Because I've had it before on a Scania where it dropped off and I didn't realise, obviously, it pissed all the oil out and took it off again. So just, just bear that in mind. And then 
once you know it is in, just ease it in nice and gently so you know it's in the right place. That hurts people. It's ain't no one coming undone this, ain't. What's up with it? Hammer. Get a hammer. Ah, oh, she's gone, lot. Is he doing it? Oh, bloody is now. Nice as you bloody come, Bloody like. Lot. You made it easy, you have, lot. What, what is it? Bloody good show. Bloody good show. Bloody, bloody good show. Bloody good show. Bloody what a good show, people. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Right, so how you confident are we? Oh. You've got to be pretty confident in this. Yeah. Thing. Well, we've got two got two choices, haven't we? You've always got two choices in life. It never does it if it don't. That's right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I never take something else off and try something else off. Oh, yeah. Right, I ought to leave that off, really, don't I? And just try it. That's what I'll do. I'll try it now. Are you all right, Gary? Are you nimble enough? <laughs> oh, a lot better. Yes, good job. Yeah, that's it, Jake. Is it? Yeah, a lot better. You can't hold your thumb over it now. Oh! <laughs> I always do that to Jared. It's Friday! Yeah, it is. Right, we're putting the O-ring in there, look. Right, James has got his drone out a lot, and I just said to him, try and get a close-up of Lear Dog, see what he does. <laughs> so the, <laughs> the drone, see how, see how good his flying skills Not are. Not that good. Oh, is that his eyes are open? You've woke him. You've woke the beast. Oh, Lido, look at him! Oh, Lido! Oh, the booty lot is thinking, what's that big fly What doing? is that? Aliens oh, are attacking. Oh, look at him. <laughs> Lido! Oh, I was going to say fly in the wind, though, but it's a bit risky, that. No, don't. They will chop him off. You give him an aircut, won't it? <laughs> it's, like I, it's like I want to kill the dog. <laughs> <laughs> not killing, but not killing. Everyone in the comments, get James on this. Abusing little dog now with his oh, drone. There we go. Video evidence Look, as well. This is dog abuse, people. Don't be like. You'll be like that, 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 what is it, that cat hate I'll it. I'll tell you what I might Hate cats or whatever. I James, might actually get a dog. rope on it and tie it round him and fly him away. Can oh, I that? that would get worse, man. <laughs> No, it wouldn't be funny at all, Jay. It'd be the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> He's only messing about, by the way, people. He's not really that cruel. <laughs> I hope, anyway. <laughs> Everyone in the comments, boys, you'll be slandering yeah, yeah, you like that. That Jay's oh, he's horrible, isn't he? Fucking thing. Right, shall we see if this builds up? Are you looking at you? It's only he bites. <laughs> look, I'm going to pick him up, look, oh. my cans. Come on, dear dad. He's always near best mate. What do you reckon there, Doug? Hey, friend. He likes cold? a lot of slop, huh? Is he cold? No, it's a chihuahua, isn't he? <laughs> he's always shaking. He's shaking, don't he? Come on, let's look around the Someone yard. said on the comments that we ought to have a Lear Dog calendar for Christmas. Yeah, so you know yeah, what? Yeah. I'm going to fucking do it, you know. I'm going to yeah. do all photos of Lear Dog. With his tongue out. Yeah. Santa hat. That's what we'll have, a calendar. Lear Dog calendar. Right, the moment of truth. He's climbing in you. Oh, climbing. I'll do the honest. <laughs> We're going up now, James! Lower at 10. Oh my god, it's doing it, that's it. It's done it. Yes! I'll right, so I'll switch this off now. I'll tell you what, he's done it, he's done it. Sure yeah, I hope it. I get a bonus for this job. Wow. LDV, guys. What does a bonus mean? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, bro would do. Deep <laughs> tiddle. Where's he running? He's running off somewhere. He's always a jumping granddad car, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> we had a good one on the other one. Someone the plastic it. pipe. Yeah, oh, and some it? Egypt broke it, didn't it? Who broke it? Yeah, lad, do you want a challenge? Oh, yes. <laughs> Get that O ring in there, look. Mark's gonna have a go now, look, bail me out, because I've been fiddling with this thing. I can't get that O ring in. It's it's too fiddly, it's annoying me. You need to some help. More hands up, Mark. Right, me and Mark's going double on this now because it's 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 even annoying him, isn't it, Mark? Oh. Look, James has made me a life changing cappuccino jobber, jobber, jobber. From... Chris has been gagging for one of them for years, haven't you? Yeah, I, I didn't. I, the trouble is now, nothing will taste the same. <laughs> That's it, no. Yeah, that felt a lot better and all tighter. Let's hope that's it. 
Uh, right, I'll put the cab down. What have I got to do now? I've lost where I was then. Cracked about that all this time. Oh, power steering fluid first. Power steering fluid, that was it. Let's top up power steering. Look, oh, James has got a full load here. He says I should have the, the filter for that. So he's, he's got the filters, oh, oils, everything. What's this? <laughs> <laughs> there oil. we go. Is that loop filter, yeah? Yeah. I'll do. Engine oil. Engine oil. Bloody good showing a bloody good semi synthetic. Is it semi synthetic? Cheaper, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, so it's good then that he's got all that, hasn't it? Because now I can give it his uh, engine oil change because I don't like leaving that oil in it because obviously it's, it's damp in it, it's got wet in it, hasn't it? Apparently, he reckons that they, the bloke didn't change the engine oil because he couldn't get the sump bung undone. So obviously now it's my problem now, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> that old chestnut. There we go, I've cracked it, people. Fucking hell, there's, there's, there's even water coming out of the sump, man. Oh, no, this ain't... Look, look at the water. That's water. Now it's oil. There the hell. Creamy weemy. Uh, back doors, yeah, but you have to climb through the, the side door though, Chris, because the back door's too bad. Right. Same as any mechanic van. That's right, it's the worst kind of van that you can get, a mechanic's van. Because <laughs> we don't like going out to it, do we? No, never. No, never. It's a daft, people. It's a daft. I'm just making sure the uh, oil pressure's alright. It's okay. Right, that's it. Striker up. Because, right, he's got this spec to fit on here, on the back here, but he hasn't been able to do it because he hasn't been able to get his PTO in because of the air pressure, obviously. So hopefully now his PTO will work and he can get that spec out and then we're going to fit that to it. That's the plan, Stan. Sounds like the PTO's in. Hi! Yay! <laughs> oh, Bloody yeah. hell! He's a big lad, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> that is not me, nice. Hey? Oh, now we just God. need a few strong men then, do I? Or do yeah. it with four left? Four. Four left. <laughs> hey, if you didn't see anything there, it's because of him. That's why, right. Chris's what? fault. I saw Chris's cracking order. <laughs> Did you block it off? James is chuffed with that. Look, even goes in. Look at that. Lovely little job. Stows away nicely. Under a bar. Beautiful. Go back to work now with this. All James has to do now is just chop that pin and then he's going to get it drilled then so he can put the split pin or something through it, it? just to secure it. Are you chuffed with that, James? Very, very happy. We've got the. Air compressor fully changed. Full yeah, oil and filter, engine oil filters. And the spec fitted. And your spec fitted. Bloody good show, people. Isn't it a good show? It is. And I'm just hoping that that was the fault for the water getting in the oil. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm hoping anyway. So this is where you two started it then, isn't it? John? This. Yeah. This workshop here, yeah. isn't it? Oh, well, no, where we originally started would have been up at the mill. In this oh, yeah, they're up at the mill. Start, this was the original garage. Yeah. Yeah, for stripping. And we've still got the ramp here for memories. Which yeah. yeah. Asking us to get rid of for how long, mate? <laughs> no, no, leave it, lads, leave it. Leave it yeah, I do. It still looks in good nick, away, doesn't it? Lot is having a posh new card. Look, so this is the reception room. So when they come in, they're in the reception yeah, room. Yeah, yeah, yeah any boards? Can I help you, sir? What are you after? On the small yeah. counter. Get a few. I'm going to get all the merchandise up here. Yeah, it's a good idea. I want a shelf yeah. with like 
just like brand new parts, like a brand new turbo. So it looks just really. Looking, <laughs> looking like we're better than we are. <laughs> That's the plan. This okay. is what you could have had if you could afford it, but it's yeah, 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 yeah. buying it back to the breakers, y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you owe me a call. Right, what deal can we do for a call? Well, I'll do a deal. What? We'll flip a coin. Yeah. If I win, you owe me a cup. Yeah. If I you win, I owe you one. That's it, that's it. Let's flip a cup. Alright, just, just one flip. Right, right. is it your one then? What's tails it? never fails. Go on, that. Oh, yeah. What do you want, tails? Tails never fails, I'm tails. Right, you're tails. tails. No, I ain't landed on tails and he flipped it, yeah. Right, right. right. Tails, I owe you a cup. Yeah. Heads. Heads, you owe me I owe you one. Yeah? Go. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, is it? Tails. Who are you? Tails. <laughs> hey, undefeated boy. Again, out of fucking pocket again. Every time yeah. I'm, I'm going, I'm leaving this place. <laughs> <laughs> Right, we've done a day's work here. We've we've just tossed a coin. Uh, we've got to go to the pub now for a pint. We we've got to go. We tossed the coin. Rituals. We've got to go. We didn't want to, but we tossed the coin and we've got to go. So we're all being forced right, to go to pubs. Right, Chris ain't no. because he's had enough. It's Friday. Yep. It's Friday. <laughs> Catch you on the next one, guys. Woo hoo! What boys? James is getting the beers in. Yeah, I have no evidence. Where's the lead dog got? Get the box. 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 Get the